How's it going? Silver Dog here again. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, the purpose of this video today is to show you some of my five ounce uh, silver bar um, and to kind of talk about why I get them or why I stack these. Um, so the first bar we have is of course the Atmax. Pretty low premium on them. Uh, the reason why I pick up these five ounce bar is because I want every time I order something online I want to spend over fifteen hundred dollars so I don't have to pay sales tax because <laughs> I save pretty much eighty to somewhere from eighty to hundred something dollars in, in taxes if I spend more than fifteen hundred dollars so if I ever order something and pretty much if it's fourteen hundred and ten dollars I'll pick up a five ounce bar or a one ounce bar uh, whatever push it over um, which could be a problem because I end up spending quite a bit more than $1,500 every time I order. And yeah, so one thing I like about, so this one here, all these Zodiac one I got, um, one thing I like about them because every single one in the backside has these Chinese character on them that talks about your Zodiac. So if this is your Zodiac, it, so the, the dragons have power, brave, and which is pretty cool. And, uh, and another thing why I get these bars is it's good for gifts. So if you know someone's birth year or whatever it is, definitely pick them up. And I actually go I gave uh, a few of them away already. So <clears throat> actually any of these five ounce bars are good for gifts. You know, this is a perfect size. Um, you know, they're on average 80 to 100 bucks. You know, it's a perfect gift. Um, so yeah, that's why I give them away. <laughs> Uh, next on next one up is uh, this one here. This one is actually one of my favorite favorite due to the design in the back. So the Aztec, the calendar, the old ancient calendar, um, which is really really cool, cool. I mean, there's so much detail on them. Okay, and you notice all my five ounce bars are in capsule. Um, reason is because. Uh, somewhat protection. I don't really care if I scratch them up or ding them up. It's just where I store these. It's a pretty moist environment. I'm not gonna say where, but you know I don't want them to tarnish faster. So I figure maybe these little capsules will help them from staying fresh. <laughs> and this one here, I picked up actually two of them, I believe, uh, Golden State, because I did grow up in the Bay Area, so the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> Back of them here. I'm not sure if this have anything to do with the Bay Area, but my, my favorite, favorite, favorite is of course the Sunshine Minting. For some reason, this stuck with me because in this, uh, the Sunshine Mint is the first silver I ever, ever, ever bought. Not this one, but a 10 ounce bar, and I grew to love it ever since. And here's another Chinese Zodiac one, is the ram in the back of it. Again, talks about the Zodiac. Got another one here, the rooster. Again, in the back, talk about, you know. And then, got another sunshine, of course. So I got two of them. And this one here is not in the capsule. Um, it's because this one, compared to the rest of them, they're different in size. So the capsule, capsule I actually bought on Amazon did not fit this one. But this is actually a good way of testing it, right? Leaving some, leaving this one out and without any protection and see how it does when I store it. This one is actually pretty cool as well. Because in this, if you notice, looks like they they welded a, a coin on there but yeah and then again here is the other um, golden state mint all right so that's pretty much it guys let me know in the comments below uh, how should I do my video I'm still new at this so uh, you know what do you guys want to see in terms of silver video um, to be honest, I just started, so maybe you guys could comment and, and teach me some things. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys have a great day and stay safe, guys.